This is the Sunshine Cathedral perspective. Pope meets with pro-LGBTQ plus religious group previously rejected by Vatican. Pope Francis recently met with leadership from the U.S. LGBT organization New Ways Ministry, which was previously denounced by both the U.S. Bishops' Conference and the Vatican's doctrinal office for causing confusion on sexual morality among the Catholic faithful. The meeting took place at his residence. It's unclear what the topic of the meeting was, but the organization thanked the Holy Father in an October 17th statement for his openness to blessing same-sex unions, as well as for his opposition to the criminalization of LGBTQ plus people in civil society. New Ways Ministry was founded in 1977 in the Archdiocese of Washington by Gamerick and Father Robert Nugent, who were both permanently prohibited from pastoral work involving homosexual persons after an investigation into their work. Several mainstream media outlets were fast to report that Pope Francis was open to giving blessings to same-sex couples after the publication of the response in October, but were too quick to the trigger. As the Holy Father had already affirmed in 2021 that the Church has no authority to do so. Additionally, Theologians who spoke with the National Catholic Register last week said the Pope's focus was not on same-sex unions, but instead on same-sex attracted persons who may be in some kind of same-sex relationship. Oh my gosh. Um, again, we, we, we seem to have a leader of the Catholic Church who is in some ways conflicted. Um, he, he understands that the mission of the church should be to preach love for everyone. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. No matter what your neighbor is doing, love your neighbor. You don't love the um, person but hate the sin. I mean, that, that's one of the things that keep coming up. But in, with this pope, and I know that he doesn't go far enough most of the time, he at least is a pope who is trying to open doors that have been closed for millennia to people who think different than the Catholic Church. Um, every time he says something, he's got to go back and somebody, no, somebody's got to go back and fix what he said. This is what he said, but this is what he meant is almost what comes out from the Vatican and the U.S. bishops. <laughs> what is wrong with the U.S. bishops conference? It, 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 you're in the United States and you would think that they would be a less conservative wing of the, of the um, church, but instead they just push doctrine that didn't help folk in the 50s. Right. Well, that's the way of closet cases, isn't it? Ooh. And, uh, Ooh. You know, you hide behind you hide behind the hard line mm. uh, so that you can have your own secret hard line. The um, I I hate that love the sinner. Uh, I know. Uh, hate the sin mess because one only Christians say it. Mm -hmm. Secondly, they're quoting a Hindu. Uh, it was Gandhi who said it about in the context of liberation, that when we're fighting for our freedom, let's don't hate the oppressors. You hate the sin, but not the, the sinner. We, we, we hate domination. We hate colonization. But these British people who are doing it are people. Don't forget that. So we don't hate our, our fellow humans. We just hate being oppressed. And that's, that's the context for love, love the sinner, but hate the sin. It was in the context of liberation, and it was said by a Hindu. Mm. So when Christians use it to justify their bigotry, that is an insult to Gandhi, as well as an insult to the people that they are judging to be inhuman. I love when uh, love the love the sinner, hate the sin. I like to say, hate the Christianity, but love the Christian. Oh, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> hate the belief, but love the believer. When, when it affects them, they will always bristle. They're like, right. "Well, now you're being mean." Right, because That's it always is. what they say. You, you, you're mistreating us. Right? Yes, yeah. because yes. it is mean. Remember, yes. when you were doing it, it was mean. So that's that's it's a mirror. We're yes. not really being mean. <laughs> we're playing a little trick. We're by putting a little mirror up to what you just said. So there's that. Uh, Sister Gramic is a hero. She has been mm. forever. Mm. Uh, she's she's uh, uh, taken on the institution, and they have clapped back. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, and Father Nugent too. But uh, it is true that the the Pope seems to want to do right, but he's stuck in this ancient. 
institution. The walls are, are close, <laughs> the doors are locked. And so he's always, well, who am I to judge? But you're bad, but you're not bad. Uh, you're good, but you're not holy. Well, you're kind of holy, but you can't get married, but you can have commitments. Uh, but, you, but bishops don't have to bless them if they want to. And I might not have meant that exactly. He's just constantly in this just dance uh, of trying to do a little bit better, and then, but inst- but getting centuries, cla- getting clapped back. Yeah, he's, so he's always like he's trying to get this. God is love, and God loves you. He's trying to get that out, but also uh, he, he, he's he's also chained by tradition and by uh, by ancient prejudices that are perpetuated by people if they were telling their truth and living their truth are actually even against them. So I mean, really. A lifelong celibacy, but you live with people of the same sex and you and you dress in a lot of the ways of, of people of the other sex. That is an alternative lifestyle. No, most people aren't priests. Mm-hmm. Most people aren't Roman Catholic priests, which means if you've chosen that lifestyle, that is an alternative lifestyle. Nobody's judging it. Nobody's saying it's bad, but it is different. It's a minority way of living. And uh, so for these people in this alternative reality to judge other people who aren't in, in, in the majority or mainstream is a little hypocritical to begin with. Uh, so I don't know what to do about it other than uh, there's a reason there are Protestants in the world. They are protesting. The Protestants were protesting the authority of the Pope and the, uh, uh, and the uh, uh, autocratic nature of the church. And, uh, and that Protestant spirit, I think, is still an option for people. If, you're, if you feel oppressed in one place, there are other places. Next up, we are excited to tell you about our adventure with our Global Fellowship. In 2024, we'll be going to where the hills are alive as we explore Austria and Alpine Europe for Gay Oktoberfest. Space is extremely limited, so make sure you go to happeningout.travel slash sunshine to reserve your space now. Would you like to join the Queer God Squad on a special winter cruise in 2024? Well, now you can. You will visit Cozumel, Mexico, Grand Cayman, and Ocho Rios, and you can even add an open bar and Wi-Fi. Join us by going to happeningout.travel slash sunshine. 